What's up? Mustache is gone. Got too itchy and hot. Crazy. Whatever. We'll see if I grow it out again. Uh, but this is going to be a contest response for the card closet. Eric, he's got 750 subs. That's what he, uh, this contest is, 750. Um, he's already hit it. <clears throat> and uh, congratulations, buddy, on 750. That's awesome. Uh, keep it going. You're doing great stuff and uh, love to see the content that you put out. Um, oh, wow. Sandhill Crane almost took himself out on a power line. <laughs> um, sorry. Squirrel. Um, but again, this is going to be a uh, contest response for him. He's uh, said in uh, Mother's Day is coming up in a couple weeks, so he wants you to tell a story of how your mother played a part in your collecting. Um, and he also said if you don't have a good relationship with your mom, you can do your aunt, your guardian, your grandma, whoever uh, did the female in your life that did have a part uh, in your collecting. Uh, my mom, most of my collecting, 99, well, I'd say 90% of my collecting um, came from my dad, but my mom supported it because my dad supported it. Um, and we didn't have a lot of money <clears throat> growing up. Um, there were definitely plenty of days where we ate bologna sandwiches and Kraft mac and cheese uh, for dinner or lunch, but we made it work. And um, I always got to play baseball. And my sister and brother always got to do their extracurriculars, extracurricular, curriculars. <laughs> Jeez. Um, my brother's was football. My sister's. What did my sister do? She was mostly like. Oh, what was that stuff? Uh, whatever. It wasn't sports. Um, but my mom, like I said, supported it. She took the, her way of getting into it with me and my dad was if we opened a pack and there was a mascot card like the chicken, um, she would go nuts over it. Um, and then I remember one day, one uh, year, I got a few packs of the Looney Tunes baseball cards packs for my uh, birthday. So I opened those and she loved Bugs Bunny. So she would go... Nut. We, we you know went, went through them and she loved looking at the cards and she'd go nuts when there was uh who, who did she like daffy duck um so she got real excited for that type of stuff uh but other than that she really didn't collect anything i mean she collected like tupperware and stuff like that when we saw it at garage sales and whatnot but um she was always very supportive i love your story eric about how she would your mom would put some cards up in a cabinet and you'd get to reach up that's a great idea I might steal that from your mom and uh, use that with my daughters for their Pokemon stuff because they like Pokemon and Lorcana. <clears throat> they like the Disney Lorcana cards. Um, so uh, I might steal that from your mama. But um, my mom, she passed away on Thanksgiving Day in 2020. Um, she she battled a uh, short battle, which I'm never going to say I'm happy that it was like that because I would love to just have a hug from her again. But um, I'm glad she didn't suffer longer than what she did. It was a month-long battle of pancreatic cancer, and it went to stage four within a week. Um, but uh, she would love this contest. She would love hearing other stories about how their other people's moms uh, or aunts or grandmas played a part in their collecting. My mom always, I remember me and my dad would always go to uh, garage sales. My mom kind of liked them, didn't really care for them too much. Um, but we'd come back with cards and I would sit on the ground and she'd say, oh, another box of cards, huh? And they'd stack up. And then uh, she saw my dad lose all his collection when he was a kid. Because my dad had polio um, and he was diagnosed in 19, uh, 1952. And they came out with a polio vaccination in 53. And um, they thought it was they're from in Iowa and they thought it was very as contagious as COVID was. It was a, it was a pandemic and they freaked out. And my grandma and grandpa, his mom and dad burned all of his baseball cards, comic books, clothes, the seat on his bicycle, his baseball glove. Um, anything that was cloth like that, that they thought could hold the disease. They just burned it all. <clears throat> um, so he watched his collection go up in flames, literally, in the front yard where my grandpa had a burn pit. And uh, he watched it from his bedroom. 
And so my mom always remembered that story. So whenever I went to college, which wasn't a very long time, um, she kept my stuff in the house and kept it exactly how my room was. Didn't didn't uh, change my room because my brother was already gone and, and moved on. He was out of college and had his own place. My sister, the same thing. So I was the last one. I'm the youngest. And she kept my stuff in my room how it was. She cleaned it up a lot better than I did. But she kept everything put away how I had it. And um, I really appreciated her doing that. And it, I have a bunch of the cards from my childhood still because she did that for me. And she knew how important it was to me because there was stuff that me and my dad collected together. And as well as comic books. At one point in time, <clears throat> before I sold everything, I had almost 10,000 comic books um, in my collection. And I had long box after long box after long box. And then, you know, multiple short boxes. And it was, it was a lot for her to keep, and she did it. Um, so I really appreciate her doing that. And like I said, I wish she was here um, so I could just give her another hug and uh, just say thank you for being my mom. And uh, a short backstory of that is I was adopted when I was five days old. So uh, my real mom, I know who she is. I never met her, but I know of her. They were open about that when I turned, I think, 15. Um, they told me the story of it. And, uh, I mean, I knew I was adopted much earlier than that, but they told me about my mom and the history um, when I think I was 14 or 15, right around there. And uh, so I always felt a little, not special, like, ooh, look at me, but just like they chose to have me in their family. And that was uh, a little bit of a running joke whenever my brother would tick me off. I'm like, well, mom and dad had, had to have you. They chose me. And <laughs> he was always like, ooh. So it was just a, a little poke, but um, it's for her, for them to take on another baby when they were, you know, back then, I mean, they were mid thirties. My dad was upper thirties and um, for, for them to take on another child from somebody else is, I mean, that's always a huge thing. I'm, I'm gonna respect adoption to the day I die. Um, and I wish I, uh, could have told them that a little bit more. Uh, my dad passed away. Everybody saw that. And my dad passed away last year in, in May. Um, and uh, that was unexpected. But um, I wish you, you know, tell your parents, tell your family that you love them. Especially for this contest, tell your mama, thank you. Uh, your grandma, your aunt, your aunt, whatever uh, that, that lady was in your life that helped you and supported you. Um, but again, thank you very much, my friend. Uh, I know I rambled on a little bit, so feel free to not watch the rest of it if you want. Um, but congratulations on 750, bro, and uh, can't wait to see you hit a 1,000 real quick. All right? Remember, do something nice for somebody. Peace.